All right, so what I have here is um, I have a, uh, a new drill press, and I didn't like that this is a table that came with it. Uh, drill press is upstairs in my uh, garage shop. And this is uh, sort of the like a woodworking uh, cast iron table. Uh, it's flat. And the one that I have on uh, my, <coughs> my old drill press, I liked a lot better. It, uh, it had troughs in it and it had uh, two um, uh, T-channels in it. And I, so I'm, I want to use that table on my new drill press, but it turns out these bosses are slightly different. They're about uh, 90, uh, 80 or 90 thou uh, size difference. So I made a shim for the other one, which worked out great, uh, like a circular shim uh, with a roller. But for this one to fit in the uh, in my old uh, drill press, which I'll sell, I need to pour this down uh, about 80 thou, and. Um, I've never, I had a, an option of, you know, boring the receiver part of it. This is the uh, receiver part of the drill, drill press table. Put that around. And so that's the bore. And the issue with this is, uh, let's see if I can focus on this properly. The issue with this is that there would be an interrupted cut uh, right here. And I suppose what I could do is I could jam some packing material in there, clamp it down so that this thing wouldn't vibrate when I'd be cutting. But there'd be an interrupted cut regardless. And uh, I would, you know, I think I'd damage my uh, carbide tips on my uh, boring bar. Um, I don't have any um, high speed steel uh, half inch round bar, which is what I would need to fashion my own uh, cutter. So I decided, okay, instead I'm going to try this kind of operation, which I'd never done before, so that's why I'm filming it and see how badly this can go. But uh, it's set up uh, right now. I did clock everything. I did clock this uh, in line with the uh, spindle, and I did that. Um, there's several ways of doing that, but I did that with um, just uh, an ordinary uh, um, a dial test indicator on a Noga flexible arm uh, in an ER32 collet. And this is my uh, Royal uh, Quick Change uh, system that I use for uh, for my milling, but this works out nice. So basically, you uh, you would clock your um, you know your parts in with uh, this type of setup, uh, sort of similar to an Indicol. Anyway, so it is uh, it is clocked in. Um, <clears throat> the boring bar, I believe, this is a three inch uh, news, which is a Japanese boring bar. I've never used it. I did get it uh, earlier this uh, yeah. It's a news uh, boring head uh, from Japan. So you can see that right there. Um, super nice quality, uh, way nicer than the uh, Chinesium that I had before that. Um, so I've never used this before. This is going to be the first operation. One thing I noticed is that I'm going to have to run the uh, mill in reverse because in order to cut uh, with this uh, cutter, uh, it has to run in this direction, which is typically the, uh, the reverse direction of um, counterclockwise, essentially. So um, just to give you an idea of the speed, I have this set on the lowest speed and um, this is what it runs at. So um, hopefully that's not too fast. I think it will be okay. And um, let me set up the camera and uh, we'll just give it a whirl. All right, so um, I was mistaken. It's uh, the, differ the difference in size is 30 thou. So I'm going to be taking um, 15 thou, I guess half of that. I'm going to be advancing the head by 15 thou, and that should give me an overall 30 thou. Uh, so it's only 15 thou. I've got everything set up, and I'm going to be uh, down feeding with the uh, fine feed handle uh, right here. And because there's no power feed on this thing, so, um, so that's what I'll be using. And uh, I got everything set up, ready to go. I'll just zoom you in here and uh, fire up and let's see what happens and we're going to run this in reverse tighten this on for the fine feed and run in reverse
that's still a bit tight. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, that is a nice fit. Holy shit. Okay, let's see if I can clamp it down. This works. Oh, yeah. That is rock solid. That's beautiful. Wow, very nice. Such a nice fit. Oh, that is beautiful. <clears throat> very happy with that. Anyway, success. And uh, let me just show you what I did that with. Close. I zoomed out. Uh, that right there, that's the, uh, that's the boring head. And that is the uh, cutter. It's a half inch shank. And I honed the, uh, the carbide before. It was brand new. Um, but they need to be honed and uh, touched up. Uh, so that worked out quite nicely. Um, yeah, first time I've used this uh, boring head. Um, it's really quite uh, quite chunky. It's quite uh, quite nice, but the quality is really nice. Um, you can see some real nice scraping, cross hatching there. Not scraping, but cross hatching. Um, beautiful tool. Anyway, quite lucky I am. Well, there you go. That's uh, what I wanted to cover there today. Um, hope that was interesting. See you later.